My name is Bruce Kahn. I'm uh, currently from Northfield, Massachusetts, originally from New York. Um, I've been involved in art for uh, 51 years, but the bulk of that was and still is as a musician. I started seriously uh, approaching photography about 12 years ago. Um, of course, everybody has taken snapshots all their lives, but about 12 years ago is when I started doing photography with more intention, more artistic intention. You know, in terms of the style of my photography, I, I actually shoot um, a few different sorts of genres than what's seen here. Um, but this specific show, Connections, Disconnections, has to do with uh, how each of us is taking photography in a different direction outside of uh, traditional photography. So in that sense, uh, this part of my work is basically digital collage where uh, what I like to say to people is that if I was a, um, a painter, I'd be painting these scenes. But since I don't know how to paint, I do it with photography. So I'll take uh, pictures of different, different things and put them together in the computer into a scene that I've created. As a straight photographer, in terms of the, the work I do as a straight photographer, I think I do okay. I, I think there's plenty of people better than me at that. So personally, when I create these sorts of pieces, I feel like they're less dependent on my skill as a photographer per se. That's the starting point of a piece I'd create. Um, and I feel that by, by creating the type of pieces I'm creating here, um, it puts me in a, in a bit more unique um, perspective or context as opposed to just exhibiting straight photography. I also do that, but this is what I'm primarily interested in. I think of myself as relatively a newcomer in photography because I've been doing this at this level or, or with this intention for 12 years. But having been a musician for, at this point, 51 years, I actually feel that there's a lot of crossover in terms of any artistic disciplines in the sense that the artist needs to have a sense of, of, of balance, of context, um, sense of proportion, or whatever words you might want to put to that. And I think that's true across any genre of artistic endeavor. So even though I've been doing this photography for 12 years, a mere 12 years, um, I have been in the arts my entire life from childhood, so I, I do feel that that informs how I approach photography as well. Um, I actually started out with digital photography. I didn't start out with film. So the advent of digital, per se, hasn't changed what I do. That's how where I started. Um, obviously, my work does depend quite a bit on computer technology, uh, Photoshop, what the capabilities are there. But again, shortly after I started, I got interested in Photoshop or became aware of what I could do with Photoshop and started segueing more and more into a um, more technical, technologically based way of working with photographs. So that I can't say that there's been a lot of change since this stuff was all here when I started. Most of the time that I'm out taking pictures, I'm taking pictures with the idea of capturing elements for the collage work. So although I do, again, I do what I call straight photography, which means I'll come upon something, I'll see, I'll say, oh, let's make a great picture and I'll take it, I may not do anything with it. But in terms of this part of my work, I carry around my camera pretty much all the time. Um, I might see something as I'm walking around, maybe I see a light fixture, maybe I see a, a building that looks interesting or what have you. And I'll try to get pictures of that from various angles. Uh, with the thought that later it'll get plugged into a piece. On my computer I have a, a very extensive filing system of different types of, of pictures. I've got, you know, I've got models, I've got frogs, I've got buildings, I've got miscellaneous, which covers a lot of ground, but probably I've got maybe 30 different folder categories so that when I go to create a piece, um, I said, oh, I need, um, I need a lamppost in this piece. Let me go into my file and see what kind of lamppost pictures I have. And then, you know, pick out from there what I'm going to use. It's, it's much simpler than if I get a concept and I then have to go out and find each element that might go into that picture to, to plug into it. So, in, again, in terms of the, the type of photography, it's not so much that 
I come upon a scene that I think would make a great picture, and it's not so much that I would take that picture and then fool with it, um, but rather I'm taking pictures of elements to then plug into a piece. Most of the people in this exhibition are geared a bit more toward what the original photograph is. Uh, Jim Gambaro is experimenting now with messing with his picture some more, post-taking post the photo. But for me, it's, it's flipped the other way around. The initial picture that I take is not necessarily as uh, relevant as the process I then use of putting different elements together to create a new scene. What I would say to new photographers, first and foremost, I guess, is don't work in a bubble. You know, make sure that from the very beginning, you're showing your, your works to people. Um, in order to get feedback, and of course, you know, the two things you have to adopt for that to be productive is you have to be somewhat thick-skinned because you want people to be able to tell you what doesn't work and you want to be able to absorb that and, and, and not get shaken by that, but rather incorporate that into, into your learning. And the other thing you have to do is you have to be pretty much brutally honest with yourself. When I first started, if I look back at pictures that I took earlier on that I thought were awesomely amazing pictures. And I look at it now and I go, eh, you know, wasn't so great. Um, so you have, to, you have to get out there. You have to get opinions. You have to have people explain uh, what they think or, or how they see what you're doing. And the corollary to that is feel free to ignore them all because at some point, you know, you've got to be making your own decisions. You've got to be uh, going with your own vision. and it's possible that not everybody gets that. So, so you have to expose yourself to that criticism, take it in, and then make a decision yourself as to what you're doing, as to whether what you're doing works or not. Uh, another thing I think is that what matters is the final image that people look at. It matters a whole lot less how you get there, in my opinion. Um, so depending on what you're trying to accomplish, what might be considered a bad picture um, by the rules of the game might, might be exactly what you want to convey. <laughs> <laughs>